Nah, this light is dead fire. Like, come on. Like, you see this one? This one's like, mm, you cute or whatever. Like, little subtle look. This one's like, mm, she's giving, but she doesn't give as much as this one. Like, <laughs> Hey, uh, this is really blowing my mind. Anyway, a hundred percent juice. Um, I don't know why my ring light is acting like this. This is weird. Are you done? Thanks. My name is Hawa, I got the power, yeah, I think I'm funny, who can be a big zombie, yeah, I want you to tune in, it's not a sin, wanna subscribe, okay, give a like, give me a comment, and be polite, break it down, H, A, to the W, A, H, A, to the W, A, H, to the W A Howard Huh huh Howard was middle school and we're gonna call her Beatrice <laughs> No we're gonna call her Gwendolyn <laughs> Because I assumed that her middle name was Gwendolyn but it never was never was Gwendolyn. I don't know where I got that from. Gwendolyn, right? So, how I started messing with Gwendolyn. Um, so, I used to wear these Lankanas. Like, if you know what Lankanas are, they're like head ties, head scarves, like, you know, hijabs or whatever. But they were like the kid ones. Like, you know, the ones that come, they cover... Oh, right. Wait. You know, and they have the little scarf thingy like that. And it's cute or whatever. Like, but I used to wear mine backwards so I could have the inches in the back. I just wanted to be different. I don't know. Don't ask me. But I had like, you know, a little diamond on mine or whatever. And I picked up the diamonds, right? And we were in class. We were like in our last period class. And like, I threw one of the fake diamonds at her just, just to do it for fun. Like, I don't why i just did it and she felt it and i was like mm -hmm. and she looked dead at me i'm like <laughs> she looked away right so i grabbed it another one and i said Nyo! and then do it again <laughs> she felt it again bro <laughs> she, she was like no nah. No, she was just like, I was started dying, you know. She was like, oh, it's you. Like, you know, we laughed about it, whatever. kind of want to open this chips that I have here, but like. You know what I'm eating? Honey barbecue cheese. Too. We took the drink together that same day. After class, after school, home on the fortune, and then I don't know where it just started becoming a habit. Like, I was saying, I would hear more often, I would be in the mountain more. Like, we were getting to know each other more and more, like, more about our families and all that good stuff. Um, and then, like, we were friends throughout literally all three years of middle school, and this girl was tearing me through everything, right? When I mean everything, I mean everything, right? I was going through it in the sixth grade. <laughs> like, towards the end of the sixth grade, end of the beginning of the seventh grade, that whole year, a girl was going through it. She held that down. Like, she, she, she helped me with my character development skills, you know? I ain't going to diss her like that. She was awesome. But, I don't know where Miss Mama just started moving funny. She started moving weird. Like, really weird. 
and I was just trying to figure out why that like, I'm trying to make sure she was good like is she okay or whatever and you will not believe what this girl had to tell me like I remember this day perfectly because I was going home bro to my my after school job or whatever um yeah it dead was I dead was I was in a six bus bro I was in a six bus and we were texting I'm just like what's going on like why are you moving weird you know what's happening da, da, da. And so it was just like, um, I don't want a best friend anymore. I'm like, what is going on? Like, why? Like, what happened? She was like, I just don't want a best friend anymore. Like, I just, I just don't want one. I don't. And I was just like, that doesn't make sense. There has to be a reason why you don't want to be my best friend. Like, you cannot just not, not want to be best friends anymore. Like, you can't just be like, um, I'm done with this. Like, there has to be a reason. There has to be something. Like, I was not letting it go. I was like, no, there's something. There's something. There's something. And then I was just like, nah, why? Why? She was like, nah, I just want you to be equal to my other friends. Like, I just want you to be a friend like everyone else. I'm like, girl, I am not no regular friend. <laughs> like, you're my, <laughs> you're my best friend. And then you want to denounce me? You want to bring me down? Degrade me? to being a regular friend after I was just the best. So I was like, girl, no, you're wildin'. I'm not doing that. And she was on some, bro. She was like, um, I think you have a crush on me. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Miss, miss, that's not the case here. There's no. When did I ever give you those signals? When did I ever, no no and she was like she was like oh yeah because you be give like you give me too much love like you like me like you're always hugging me and giving me affection i'm like really nigga you my best friend like what you mean <laughs> what you mean bro what you mean really though like what you mean though i was lost i was just like um Why would you ever think that? And she was like, oh, because are you buying gifts for me? Boy, if you don't get- Girl. It was one, two sketchbooks. <laughs> it was one, two sketchbooks. This is not that serious. <laughs> and the only reason why I bought her to give is because there was this one time we were on a train together and some Muslim lady, she was a Muslim lady and she noticed I was Muslim. And she she said hi to me, salam alaikum. And I was just like, walaikum salam, hi. Like, yeah, you know, like I greeted her back. And that was the end of it. And then Gwendolyn, <laughs> I got on her stop to go home and I was still on the train. And the Muslim, the Muslim lady was still on the train. And push comes to show, shorty gave me a hundred dollars just like that, just like that. I swear to God, a hundred dollars just like that. Like, I'm not gonna go into details about it, but she gave it to me. She was, if this lady is watching that, if you remember me, bro, I really appreciate you for giving me that hundred dollars. Like, you didn't, you didn't have to do that, ma'am. Like, I swear to you, like, I wasn't even expecting that. Like. You just made me, you, you made me into wanting to become, like, a nicer person to people. And, like, actually, like, changing some of my values by myself. And I really respect you. And I hope you see this video in a, a day in your life or you remember my face. It's been a minute since I was in seventh grade, sixth grade. So I know I look different, but says I forget about you. Um... <coughs> I was like, oh, nah, Gwendolyn was on a train with me, like, and then, I'm gonna get her sorry, because, whatever, and I was thinking about her, because she was, uh, telling me how she didn't, um, she was running out of pages in her sketchbook, and she doesn't know when she was gonna get any more, and I was like, ooh, perfect time, let me go to the 99 cent store, and get the sister good, um, uh, sketchbook so i got gwendolyn the sketchbook so she she brought that up on some like yeah you was getting good for me like blah, blah, blah. i'm like girl 
you're my friend like you're you're just my friend i don't like you like that i do that stuff i hug you i give you affection because you're my best friend at that i love you like i love you i love everything that you've done for me so yeah i'm gonna have a lot of ways to show it um at that time i would understand why she reacted that way or said something like that because her and her family weren't like in the best stage of their life like they're not used to affection i i don't be getting affection like that but i i love giving out affection but ever since that situation like I never wanted to give out affection anymore as much as I used to. But I cut down on it like OD. <laughs> because I feel like I just shouldn't give it out anymore. <laughs> um, Then Shorty switched it up on some... And I don't even know what she said I had a question because I had a whole little boat and like when I wasn't even supposed to have one. Like... Shorty had the audacity. Shorty. Mm. Anyway, Shorty had the audacity to be like, oh, my mother took my phone and she was typing for me. I'm like, bitch. That wasn't your mom. Fuck her. That was you. Don't fucking lie. Sorry for my language, but she was really lying. I oh, man. Even if she told me that was her mom right now, I still would not believe Gwendolyn. Like, if it came from the mom themselves, like, I still wouldn't believe Gwendolyn. Like, I wasn't having it. Like, I just didn't take that. And then after that, she was just like, yeah, I just want to be friends. I don't know. I like, oh, and then I just distanced myself away from her. And I was like, two says. And I knew. Cause I told her I was worried. I was like, "Oh, I feel like we're not gonna be friends after high school. Like, I don't want that to happen. Like, I want to be your friend throughout all my high school years." And she was like, "Yeah, it's gonna happen. We're gonna be like that. We're gonna do that." It was all wrong. Um, more him. What happened? Ugly, pretty, ugly, pretty. Ugly, pretty, ugly, pretty. Look, uh, 